This is the COVID-19 TV Business News Report, the top businesses doing health and safety right. Here's your host, Strategic Communications PR and Marketing Consultant, Anne Shatilla. Hi, I'm Ann Shatilla in Los Angeles. This is the program that takes you inside the businesses, up close and personal, to see exactly what they're doing, health and safety wise. Located in the heart of Hollywood, Starline Tours is the largest tour company in Los Angeles. And for years, it's been LA's premier choice in sightseeing and number one in celebrity tours. So what has it been doing to ensure health and safety against COVID-19 transmission? Kami Farhadi is Starline Tours chairman. He says safety and the well-being of its guests and employees remains its number one top priority. He says they're working hard to provide a high level of safety for its large fleet of open and closed top double-decker buses, large vans, and four to seven passenger seat vans. Health and safety and the cleanliness is paramount to Starline, and therefore we're making sure that we actually clean every day in the morning before we start and in between every tour we're doing that again with drivers and people who are coming in to make sure they wipe down every one of the seats and we're spraying the floor, the seats everywhere before we actually allow any new passengers in. All drivers wear masks and are given a new mask every day. Farhadi says it has strict hand cleaning procedures and antibacterial is found now on every bus. It sprays down its vehicles with an antibacterial disinfectant. The spray sits on the bus seats and surfaces for 10 seconds before being wiped down. Farhadi says the spray does a great job so guests can rest assured their bus has been cleaned from top to bottom. It's a special material that will actually surround every part of a seat as you spray it rather than just go directly one way only. It's a magnetic type of uh, creation that uh, means that you get this, the spray all over the seating, the floor, everywhere, and it penetrates into the seat so that it's safe for a long period of time. The other thing the company has done to stop the spread, they've created private customized tours now. These tours are available for private groups of four to 54. This allows families and friends to travel together, keeping control of who they're with on a tour bus. When purchasing tickets, it's now all done by touch, so you don't have to have any contact. The cost is the same as if you had bought an individual ticket if you're a group of six or more. Starline City's sightseeing hop-on, hop-off tours are offered with guided narration in nine different languages, and Starline Tours also offers tours throughout all of Southern California. COVID-19 is a top priority. At the world-renowned Tao of Wellness Chinese and Integrative Medicine Clinic in Southern California, headquartered in Santa Monica, California, the health and well-being of its patients and team members is front and center. The clinics are co-founded by global medical practitioners, Dr. Mao Xing Ni and his brother, Dr. Dao Xing Ni, known as Dr. Mao and Dr. Dao, the two of the top wellness healers for all of Hollywood and beyond with worldwide patients. The deep history of the Tao of Wellness dates back 38 family generations of medical practitioners and 74 generations of spiritual training, making their clinic some of the most in demand in the United States. To maintain a healthy and safe environment during this pandemic, patients' temperatures are taken. Plexiglass separates at checkout, and Qigong classes are now done virtually via Zoom. Dr. Mao is globally respected in the field of integrative and anti-aging medicine. He's also the co-founder of Yosan University, the award-winning center for traditional Chinese medicine. He's also a multiple author and says they are strictly implementing the CDC guidelines in their practice. All of us have masks on to protect each other. We treat the patient and once a patient is done with treatment, then they leave directly from there. They stop by the front desk, pick up the herbs, and then they, they're on their way out. Uh, they don't really need to you know, linger around. The payments are now all you know, credit card on file. So we make it really simple, quick, expedient, and safe. Dr. Dao is a licensed acupuncturist and diplomat of Chinese herbology. He was an examiner for the California Acupuncture Committee and an extensive author well known for reproductive and gynecological conditions. I think one of the most important things besides really practicing our regular infectious disease protocol, it's also to keep track and keep ourselves abreast of what's changing every day in the understanding of COVID-19. The key 
is not just practicing what we already know on dealing with all different infections or virus or bacteria, but also to keep a keen picture and eye on what is something that we're starting to understand. The massive herb medicine pharmacy on site is a shining star of the practice. Here, herbs are combined to treat all ailments. Now one specifically has been put together for helping lung health. Deliveries for all herb medicines are shipped daily to patients right around the globe. Urban Plates has been one of the leaders in health and safety protocols. With 19 locations across the United States, this privately owned restaurant chain prides itself on a core value of commitment to sourcing local, organic, and natural ingredients. Known for wholesome, made-to-order food, nutrition and transparency are the backbone of this company. As it navigated the challenging landscape the moment COVID-19 hit America, it implemented immediate strong safety measures for guests and staff far before the CDC regulations. The immediate all encompassing safety measures resulted in actual rebounding quickly. Urban Plate's chief marketing officer, Steve Greer, says as soon as COVID hit, they got into action right away. Look, it's all about safety. Uh, we want to make sure that we have a proactive mindset to safety, and it starts with great hygiene. You want to make sure the restaurant employees are clean, everything's clean every day. We're also training our employees in food safety and sanitation. Um, we're wearing masks and gloves. We're requiring guests wear masks. Um, we are conducting daily wellness checks as well, including temperature checks on employees. Again, just making sure everyone's safe. Uh, we're practicing safe social distancing. Um, tables have been spread out. We're using single-use menus. We have plexiglass barriers at the register. Again, creating that barrier between our guests and our team members. They're also placing stickers on the floor reminding guests and staff to six feet social distance. The structure of the cooking and preparation food line was spread out. They showed clients how they were cleaning, done during working hours for all to see. They immediately instated curbside, no contact pickup. Order online, pay online, pull up, and it goes into your car or your trunk. They emphasized express pickup. Order online, pay online, walk in, and it's already sitting on the counter for you. No touch, no speak. And third-party delivery grew, not just one company, but three. DoorDash, Postmates, and Uber Eats. Greer says they instated one strict safety standard rule book for all its locations. He says continuity and transparency are key. You want to make sure that the restaurant is clean and that guests are seeing you clean and sh seeing that everything that they touch has been um, sanitized and is cleaned consistently. Greer also says the key to business in these unprecedented times is that you must do it with dignity, kindness, and clarity so clients know exactly all you're offering to keep everyone safe. When it comes to business, health and safety is all it's about right now to reopen. Todd Johnson, CEO and President of the Beverly Hills Chamber of Commerce. The whole world has changed in the last uh, few months and it's going to continue to change and it's going to be about how safe people feel, how comfortable are they going into businesses, whether it's a restaurant, a retail, a hotel, uh, a theme park, a movie theater, a gym, everyone, and they're all going to have to put on their thinking caps and how can we make sure our guests are safe. To help businesses reopen, the Chamber, one of the leading in the world, has put together a back-to-business virtual collaborative. It's a full-day online convention. Leaders discussing the current state of affairs. Participants from around the world can join in. We will have a number of different chambers and businesses that have rooms available that will be able to share their ideas, to share their product, to share their best practices of health and safety, as well as getting new business because everyone is getting back to business now and that's what we want to do is help people get in line and set them up for success so things will be much better and we'll look back on it 12 months from now and go wow look how far we've come. Back to Business is June 30th 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific. The seminars will also be on demand. Motive, 
the groundbreaking Los Angeles-based luxury black car service rooted in sustainability with elegance now has a new motive. Along with its luxury chauffeured limousine white glove service, it's now focusing on health and safety during the COVID-19 pandemic. The fleet comprised of Teslas, Mercedes hybrids, flex fuel, and large vehicles is being cleaned extensively as always, but the cars are now being used to help people with an additional focus of helping. The chauffeured limousine company is committed to its goal to change the way people choose to move in luxury by offering many sustainable options of transportation. Along with sanitizing, spraying and wiping for over a year now extensively, it's increased protocols and it offers pickup, deliveries and anyone who needs help with delivery of items, groceries and medicines. Robert Gaskill, Motive founder and chief executive officer says safety is number one. Motive uses an enzyme fogging spray that it attaches to the bacteria, the molds and viruses and is followed up with a 95% alcohol based cleaning solution uh, that we wipe down. Uh, this is done overnight and uh, the ve while the vehicles are resting. And then between clients during the day, uh, we do basically a miniature version of that without the fogging spray, but with that same uh, solution in a spray bottle. Their Tesla X models offer HEPA filters. Any air cleaner that has a HEPA filter is said to help capture viruses in general. And it's been tested and approved by the nonprofit Institute of Environmental Sciences and Technology. Tiffany Hinton is Motive's chief administrative officer. Prior to COVID-19, our business was primarily focused on uh, business and entertainment travel. As a result of COVID-19, we're shifting into more localized travel offerings which means that we're focusing on making sure that people can get back and forth to work in a safe manner. We're focusing on non-emergency medical transportation for people who have dialysis, chemotherapy, or regular doctor's appointments. We're focusing on people who are high risk, you know, the elderly or people who have compromised immune systems. Cars now come with a small kit with a plastic wrap disposable mask, hand sanitizer, and antibacterial wipes. Motive is offering relaxation rides to the coast or up the beach. You can take a loved one or family in their luxury vehicles for a little escape from the real world. World-renowned plastic surgeon Dr. Jamie Schwartz is a recognized expert in plastic surgery that specializes in advanced surgical techniques. His focus specialty technique is the connective tissue disorder lipedema, which refers to swelling that generally occurs in the legs and arms. Schwartz is currently working with the United States on creating standard care guidelines for the disorder in connection with the National Institutes of Health, the NIH. His practice is based in Beverly Hills and Dubai, and it focuses on patient-first philosophies. In these COVID-19 times, virus health and safety is also first. And we actually voluntarily shut our office down and closed before it was even mandated. We really felt strongly about patient safety, staff safety, and we really didn't know what was going on. We've been monitoring state and federal guidelines this entire time. And we've also been trying to temper that with the amount of patient care and, and taking care of our patients and safety. We have a lot of people that need to be seen. And so we've been trying to figure out how to do this the best way. Immediately, safety protocols were instated. They greatly limited the amount of people they see. Before anyone can enter, they knock on the door. Masks are required. A temperature check is given, staff included. A COVID exposure health questionnaire is filled out. Patients are spaced out for their appointments. Waiting room is no longer used. Patients are brought directly into the clinic room. One of the best ways that we found to keep patients safe as well as the staff, but also allow them to bring their family and loved ones into their care is we actually do virtual follow-ups. And so what we'll do is as I'm examining somebody in the room, they will then have their family, significant other on FaceTime and we're all there so that they can be there for the entire thing, but in the safest way possible. Schwartz also has patients undergo testing on the spot, which he does. Known for his work overseas in the Middle East and Europe prior to this, he was always traveling now virtually is helping a lot one thing about virtual consults is it allows me to take care of patients from around the world especially in different time zones i have an office in dubai and i'm the only doctor in the middle east that takes care of lipedema i take care of a lot of people that will then come from europe even from africa and all over the middle east to see me there 
while here in Beverly Hills, I'm able to still care for people there, help them out, understand what they're doing, and also we're planning their next surgeries. Schwartz says people with cancer and lipedema are at a higher risk of contracting COVID-19, so he says this is an issue that extra care is needed now more than ever before. The premise behind Sharky's wood-fired Mexican grill when the restaurant first opened in Sherman Oaks, California in 1992 was making a difference with food. Today, it's making a difference putting health and safety first. Sharky's took safety measures very seriously from the onset of the pandemic. The 27 restaurant chain prides itself on organic, local, and sustainable ingredients when available. Today, health and safety are leading the way with increased takeout, curbside, no-contact pickup, and delivery. All team members began wearing masks before the CDC directive. Social distancing is in indicated everywhere. David Goldstein is the chief operating officer. We're easily communicating what we're doing as a business to show how we're taking care of their health and their safety and we're listing every one of the actions we do and what we're asking our guests to do by wearing masks and staying six feet apart and to allow us to handle their trash so we are able to take care of them in a way that makes them as safe as possible. What Sharky's is doing well is it created an in-house restaurant compliance checklist. When guests arrive, there are poster boards at the front doors which illustrate all the things they're doing as a brand to ensure safety. For the team members, each morning they're given a temperature check. They fill out the team safety wellness checklist. All wear gloves, plexiglass shields are in place, sanitizing is done to all touch surfaces, payment chip readers are cleaned and sanitized after each use. Guest pickup is seamless. As a business that was already doing 50% of its business outside of the four walls, it was easy for us to find a, a step footing in the way that we built our systems. We were able to pivot at curbside to our online ordering protocol to foster the app and take a bigger presence on Instagram to push out socially and let our message be known to our guests that were loyal users of the brand before, but now even more so they are getting communicated to through our app as well as through our email program and our loyalty program is approximately 130,000 and we've added 20,000 new loyalty members during uh, the lockdown. Expanding on an already successful company model and now showing the public all it's doing safety wise was absolutely key because that's exactly what people want to see. Desh Facial Plastic Surgery in Beverly Hills is known for attention to detail. Double board certified plastic surgeon Dr. Farhad Ardesh is known for a level of perfection as a leader in facial plastic surgery and particularly rhinoplasty. Now he's taken that level of perfection into health and safety protocols in the fight against COVID-19. When patients book an appointment at his clinic, they're asked health questions and given their initial consultation virtually. Once patients arrive at the clinic, they're handed a mask, hand sanitizer, and a another questionnaire to update any new health developments. All patients' appointments are staggered, so there's never more than one patient at the clinic at one time. Each room is cleaned and every surface is scrubbed down after every patient. For rhinoplasty patients and all patients, COVID precautions are taken prior to any surgery with testing. We are taking a lot of precautions in first testing our patients before we perform any surgery on the nose. Uh, this requires seven days before any surgical procedure. We require our patients to undergo the RNA swab testing. In addition to that, immediately before their surgery, we're requiring our patients to undergo the antibody test. We are administering both of these tests in the office ourselves or for our patients that are traveling from out of the Los Angeles area to come see us, uh, they can get tested and we review all of those tests uh, in a strict fashion. Ardesh says when patients want nasal surgery, it is best to go to a board certified facial plastic surgeon that specializes in the nose during these COVID-19 times. As a nose expert, I pay particular attention to the nasal anatomy. So I perform the swab test myself and when I place it inside the nose, I am an examining the inside of the nose. So if a patient has a septal deviation or 
some sort of twist inside their nose, we're not just bumping the swab uh, in a painful manner inside the nose. We are able to work around the septal deviation and get the swab all the way back to the end of the nose, which is where it needs to be to perform an accurate test. During any rhinoplasty surgery, Ardesh washes the nose several times with an antibiotic solution and also a solution to make sure that any virus that may have moved to the back of the nose is washed away completely to ensure full safety. Tour Coach Charter and Tours is on the road to health and safety. The Charter Transportation Bus Rental and Shuttle Service, based in Los Angeles, California, is adding new services to proudly become a people mover throughout California, Arizona, Nevada, Utah, other southwestern states, and all the way to the East Coast. For 25 years, charter groups have come in from around the world to travel the U.S. Tour Coach has been at the forefront. With COVID-19, the travel landscape changed overnight, so to help, it will also transport people and products. For instance, institutions, hospitals, schools, government agencies, and businesses. Helping the community with large-scale buses allows for six feet social distancing. Extensive cleaning practices are in place to fight the virus. Nanush Sapir is the CEO. She says she realized at the beginning of 2020 that COVID was coming, as many of her clients who travel in from Asia and Europe were giving her updates directly from overseas. Finding out how serious COVID was back then allowed her company to prepare fully and implement immediate safety measures. They spread they cleaned with high quality disinfectant. Safety is the most important thing for us in Tour Coach, for our drivers, for our passengers, and for the way our drivers drive. Besides the cleaning and everything we're doing always, I started ordering masks and gloves and uh, glasses or gargles for our drivers to make sure that they are safe inside. And I ordered also the uh, sanitizing dispensers for our buses so they can be inside. Even though our drivers have the uh, sanitizing items, I had this dispensers ordered, uh, which I ordered a lot of it in January. I only got half of it. Then later on, we realized that they told me they're gonna bring later more, but we realized that they are giving it to everybody in town. All 75 luxury buses, coaches, double-deckers, and minibuses are cleaned every night and after every trip and in between when people get on and off the bus. They're also subjected to very careful inspections, and all professional coach operator drivers have extensive training. Sapir says families and groups of inner circles can rent the bus for their family or friends, and they can be six feet apart. Several buses have galleys to sit in, restrooms, air conditioning, luggage compartments, extra seat recline, Wi-Fi, and video capability. During these times, tour coach is recommending travel to areas such as Santa Barbara, Palm Springs, Napa Valley, and to your neighboring state. Health and safety for non-surgical cosmetic aesthetic medicine Dr. Christine of Anaphora MD in Beverly Hills is paramount. Her specialty is non-surgical anti-aging treatments and fillers. That means she and the patient are close up, so precautions are taken to the T. Renowned for taking years off faces, she also works closely with patients on their internal longevity with bio-identical hormone replacement therapy. She says they've taken safety very seriously at her clinic, but now much more than ever. We have taken things to the next level in terms of safety precautions. Cautions. Our staff has been retrained entirely to make sure that when the patient comes in, they feel safe and we feel safe as well. From the moment they get into the office, we, they are vetted. We're asking them several questions, making sure they have appropriate PPE, masks. We're making sure they have gloves and we're making sure that we're checking their temperatures to make sure that they are safe to be here for both our staff and themselves. Telemedicine is conducted for the first appointment. Dr. Christine says she takes the highest precautions for both parties. Once we had our protocols and regulations in place, we brought the staff in and we did an entire day of training with the staff. We had the staff actually test and go through the whole entire process from A to Z with each one of the staff members to make sure that they had the protocol down. That was very important because even myself, I am checked when I come into the office. My temperature is checked every morning when I come in. On this day, a patient receives a liquid facelift that includes four fillers. The procedure will take about an hour in the office, so all has to be carefully executed. There are challenges in working so closely with a patient, especially with what I do. I'm an injector, so I am injecting faces all day long. I am very close to the patient's face. 
space. We're cleaning the office very, very thoroughly in between patients. We're wiping down the bed with Kavi wipes. We're wiping down all the surfaces in the room. Anything that the patient may touch, including the doorknob and the door hand, everything that the patient may have touched is being cleaned very thoroughly. Known for precision and artistry, she also uses an ice roller that keeps the face from swelling and ultrasound to help mold the product into the face, all while ensuring safety. She also uses Bruise Away, which is one of her five products from her line. That helps to contribute all to the youthful goal. She says no matter what happens, this safety will stay intact going forward for the safety of all. The global spread of COVID-19 has affected the health, safety, and economic well-being of millions. During these times of uncertainty, it's been difficult for businesses to strike the right tone for their brand social media channels and pages. So many have quickly had to reposition, pivot their businesses to direct to consumer sales through e-commerce. But shifting a business model or adding to an existing one is not easy. Con Media, based in Moore Park, California, about 40 miles northwest of Los Angeles, is an agency specializing in automotive, outdoor luxury, extreme sports through PR and digital marketing. Dan Kahn, president and CEO, says when the pandemic hit, they too had to shift their offerings. They began helping clients get online, increase their existing online presence, and help with their social media. What's happened during the COVID pandemic that's really interesting is so many small and medium-sized businesses are focused on not only keeping their employees safe, but also keeping their customers healthy and safe as well. And the best way to do that is to basically pivot their businesses to a digital sales model so the customer doesn't have to physically come into their store or their facility to buy product. Google Shopping and Facebook Shopping are things that help businesses today to reopen. Google Shopping has been around for a few years, but Facebook Shopping launched brand new features since the pandemic began. For companies that don't necessarily have a background selling through e-commerce, we can actually help them do that by actually either building out an e-store on their website or in some cases using some new tools that have come online in just the last few months, including Facebook Shops and Google Shopping, so they can sell directly through those uh, portals at a really, really fast rate without having the complications of building a normal website. Today, everyone is focused on if and how in these uncertain times. People are concerned. They don't want to get COVID. They don't want to get other people sick. There are so many different companies that we work with that have actually seen their sales rebound in the last couple of months to almost pre-COVID-19 levels. Mostly hobbyist-based businesses where, whether it's car parts for hobbyists working at home, um, or crafting stores or museums that are producing content that people seem to enjoy, but things that are sort of are more of a distraction and entertainment for people to kind of keep their minds off the darkness that's happening right now. Consumers seem to be really loyal to the brands that have pivoted to help keep them safe. Con Media has been listening to the clients, hearing their needs, and then getting down to work. That's it for this week's show. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Ann Chatilla in Los Angeles. Until next time, please stay safe. We're all counting on each other. Closed captioning is brought to you by Galvin, Gostad, and Stein Wealth Management. For information on how to get onto the COVID-19 TV Business News Report, please write us at covidtvnewsshow at gmail.com.